All right, boys and girls. Um, today we are taking the easy A for Blue Vegeta into Super Battle Road. Um, this is definitely a place where he's going to perform best, I think. Um, so we took him into the Future Saga stage of Super Battle Road, um, just because this is a category stage and you do face extreme class enemies. Um, I was going to take him into Realm of Gods, but over there you don't face ex extreme class enemies. And if you're not facing extreme class enemies, he's only like so good. But when you're facing extreme class enemies, can I say that anymore? Uh, he debuffs them by 20% attack and defense, and uh, he has a high chance of stunning for one turn. So, I mean, that's still pretty good. Like, just for this stage, he's actually very good. Um, so his defense here is only 72k. He does greatly raise it for three turns, so it will get better. He is, a, he is also giving defense to Vegito Blue as well. Um, so I'm not going to put Vegito in the front slot, because, I mean, just being honest, you would never, ever do that. <laughs> Um, I'm going to test out his stun here. I'm going to have him hit type disadvantage just because if he stuns, it would be really worth, eh, would it? I don't know. We're not going to use an item here. If we die, we die. I don't, I don't, it's turn one. Like I can, I can just use another key. All right, let's see what happens. Vegito blue. Okay. The reason Vegito blue took double digits there is almost entirely because of Vegito blue. A mix of his debuffing and giving Vegito blue 50% extra defense. I mean, that will take Vegito Blue from taking a little bit of damage to taking no damage at all. Uh, and this counter is going to do a lot of... Okay, no, it's not. It's not a counter. We're getting supered. <laughs> Which, I mean, is probably the best thing that could happen there, to be honest. Uh, 2.3 million is actually pretty good. He does actually have support this turn, though. I forgot Trunks was here. <laughs> um, but... Ouch. So he didn't get the stun. We're actually probably going to die here. Oh. 17 don't super okay so 17 didn't super but we have to take a lot of normals here i think we might barely survive okay yeah we survived we could have taken one more and that's all we could have taken um okay we will what should i do here i think we're just going to try and finish off 18 um i'm perfectly fine using items on this rotation i just don't want to use items on the other one just so that we can see how well uh vegeta works how well vegeta works with vegeta blue uh just giving him the defense and the debuffs uh on the enemy uh, I guess we'll do that as well. I think by the end of this turn, we can have 18 done with, which would be pretty good. Okay, so no da- oh, we have damage reduction active. I'm stupid. I'm built dumb. <laughs> I was like, wow, we're not taking any damage here. Pretty good by Goku Black. <laughs> okay, so if Zamasu or Trunks gets an additional super, we're definitely going to finish them. Oh, or a crit, I guess. Dang, that did a lot. Um... Both my uh, trunks and the friend trunks are 79%. They both have two dupes. So, I mean, obviously not the best. They're not rainbow, but they're pretty good. Okay, so now we just have 17 left, which means, like, really the difficult part of this fight is over. The difficult part is when you got to face them both. When you're only facing one, it's only so bad. Uh, I'm going to leave Vegito Blue up front there. Uh, and then the reason I'm leaving Vegeta in the second slot, especially here, is because, like, in the front slot, sure, Vegito Blue also does stack up his defense as he attacks. Um, but here, the physical guy, like, Vegeta has type disadvantage, so he needs the defense, I would say, more uh, than Vegito does, especially considering Vegito does have damage reduction as well. Okay, that was a lot of damage for a counter before he even supered. And then 1.6 million here from Vegito Blue. 1.1, and then just the double super. Yeah, this there's a reason why physical Vegito Blue is the best TUR in the game by far. And it's, we just saw him do three supers. Okay, and then this Vegeta gets a chance to attack. If he crits, well, we might be able to finish this up here. Okay, we did not crit. We did not double either. That's pretty bad luck. But only taking 40k. There was no item active. This is category super battle road. From type disadvantage, that's not bad at all. Alright, so the next stage we are facing... I think it's only one opponent, and it is first form cell, if I remember. Alright, it is first form cell, and I don't think there's anyone else there. No, okay, good. Now, this was actually the last stage I beat. This was... Actually, no. Giant Form was the last stage I beat. But this was, like, the second to last stage I beat. I had a lot of difficulties with this stage when it first came out. But this is actually looking a lot easier than I remember it being. Um... I don't know what to do. I don't want to get rid of Big Bad Bosses. So I guess I'm just going to use a King Yama here. I'm probably going to regret this next turn, though. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh... Goku Black is going to debuff here, and Vegeta is going to be debuffing next turn, though. And Vegeta is going to have type advantage. I, I think we're going to be okay here, actually. 40k. That actually would have been even less after Goku Black Super. 2.7. Man, 
I love EZA so much. Like this, our main rotations are all units that came out before the two year anniversary. And they're dominating. <laughs> like, Merge Zamasu was actually the last unit to come out before the two year anniversary, but still. Like, we got the Int Blue Vegeta, Physical Vegeta Blue, Physical Goku Black, and Tech Zamasu. Like, this team just makes me happy. Because, like, it reminds me of a simpler time both in life and in Dokkan, <laughs> you know? Okay, here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Guys, what do we do? Because those counters in the front slot, I really want to get those. But also, this is Vegeta's video. Guys, I don't know what to do. Whatever, this is Vegeta's video. I know this is probably going to make a lot of you upset, even though this is Vegeta's video. But I just... I mean, we need to see what he would, how much he would take here. So before, really, only 2,000 damage before he supers. And his defense, so what was he, it's like 60k, oh, he stunned. <laughs> I forgot that he could stun, to be honest. We didn't get it for two times, and I was like, oh, I've, it just didn't enter my brain. <laughs> okay, well, this is going pretty good for this Vegeta. So against extreme class enemies in Super Battle Road, he's insane with his debuff, his stunning, especially if you're going, only going up against one enemy. Uh, the only bad part about his stun, I mean, if there can be a bad part about a stun, right, uh, is that it only lasts for one turn. So like this turn, Cell can start attacking again. But I'm not even sure if we need an item here, to be honest, because Physical Goku Black is going to debuff him again. And Merge Zamasu, I'm pretty sure, was already debuffing him, right? Or does he only do that to allies? Uh, super class allies, attack minus 20%. Okay, but he also does it to enemies. So yeah, here... <laughs> Wait, he was only... Dang it, I'm stupid. I'm built dumb. Um, just for fun, I'm going to use a princess snake, because I don't want to die and have to restart and all that. Uh, but I'm not, I don't think we needed to do that here. Okay, Goku Black. Only 1.5 million here, but we didn't get him many orbs. Double? Okay, if he would have doubled, we definitely didn't need an item. Uh, but... Oh, he dodged the super. Uh, see, like, that's why level 3 dodge on some units, I really like it. Actually, I would say on most units, I like level 3 dodge. The only units where I wouldn't put level 3 dodge on them are, like, like Physical Beerus. He's a good example of one that I wouldn't. Because knowing my luck with this game, uh, he would get a level 3 dodge. Like, if there was only one attack in the front slot, and he needs to get hit to build up his attack and defense... He would dodge it, and then he wouldn't get his attack and defense. So, I don't mess with that. Like, units that need to get hit, I don't want to give them dodge, but every other unit in the game, sign me up for dodge with them. Uh, so here I'm actually going to put Vegeta in the front slot, because on top of his type advantage, he has higher defense than Vegito Blue. So, it's just a lot safer to put him in the front slot. And with Vegito Blue in the second slot, he will actually have a chance to build up his defense before he uh, gets attacked. And that would also give him a chance to build up his attack before he counters. I mean, that's assuming, one, Vegeta doesn't finish this off, and two, Vegeta doesn't stun, which he stunned, and he almost finished it off. <laughs> okay, Vegeta, in his original showcase, was only so-so. In this showcase, he's amazing me. Like, after that first video, I was like, dang, he's really... Like, I wasn't thinking he was bad by any means, but I was thinking, they really could have made him better. They really could have done my boy better. But now I'm like, okay, they, they built him for a purpose, and now that I see him in that purpose, he's really impressing me. Okay, so here it's Goku Black and Zamasu? Yeah. World Tournament Goku Black, okay. Did this come out before he came out? I don't know why I feel like it did. I don't know, I'm probably just stupid. I am going to... I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna use a King Yama for sure. Eh... Part of me just wanted to take this turn, to be honest with you. Um, I really don't like the idea of having physical Goku Black attack type disadvantage when I could have him attack type advantage. But part of me wants to do that just because physical Vegito Blue. No, no, no. I am just going to have everybody focus fire on Zomasu, and I think we could probably finish him off by the end of next turn, actually. Uh, boy, Trunks has no key here. I don't know what I expected, to be honest. If I would have put Goku Black in the middle, he actually would have gotten some key, but I didn't think about that. Okay, a double super here would be greatly appreciated. Okay, a crit from Merge Zamasu would be even more appreciated than the double super from Goku Black. Because that, that 2.1 million attack stat, it's good, but it's it's really not much if he doesn't crit. He didn't crit, okay. I only have one dupe in Merge Zamasu, so I'm not that upset. Oh my gosh, we're going to get hit so hard. 
Oh, we debuffed Zamasu. I forgot about. I forgot about that immediately. That's almost impressive how quickly I forgot about that. Okay, Trunks, do you want to crit? Because if not, we're just not doing damage here. Okay, he did crit. Perfect. Uh, so here. Oh gosh. Um. I mean, we might die here. <laughs> I mean, actually, I don't think we will. We got, huh? I don't know what I should do here. So, I use that item. This is the first time I've used an item with Vegeta on rotation. I'm going to put Physical Vegito Blue in the front slot. Because I want to have in Vegeta attack Zamasu, but I also don't want to have him stun Zamasu before Vegito gets a chance to counter him even once. And with the damage reduction that Vegito Blue has, with the debuffing Vegeta's doing, with the extra defense, we should be okay here. We should be. Even if we die here, I think I'm going to call this a video. Just because, like, we don't need to win. <laughs> okay, that is extremely impressive. You might be thinking, oh, you're just showing off Physical Vegito Blue. But Physical Vegito Blue is exclusively doing that because he's next to this Vegeta. Like, the attack reduction of the enemy and the 50% defense to Super Class Realm of Gods category allies, that is the reason Vegito Blue is taking double digits there. I mean, also, the item helped, but I think he would have maybe been doing that without the item. <laughs> the second I started to say that, I got less confident about it. Okay, we're definitely finishing off Zamasu this turn. Did we just finish him off there? Before- okay, no, he's gonna get the counter. Please don't super. Okay, the super wouldn't have even done much damage, it's just the principle. <laughs> now, if we stun here, the Vegeta really did show out. Well, I say did, but I think- okay, he did stun. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, Vegeta didn't stun the first few times, but this time, like- well, ever since then, he's been showing out. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna take this turn. <laughs> I don't want the rotation that we're not even supposed to worry about. Because it's, like, not their video. Actually, we're gonna get a Dokkan mode next turn with Vegeta. I didn't even realize we hadn't gotten a Dokkan mode yet. We were actually moving pretty fast through this. Alright, so please no crits. Great. Zamasu, please don't crit. 2.4 million without big bad bosses. Dang. <laughs> Merge Zamasu is good. I mean, he does have support here, but I mean, Big Bad Bosses is just such a crazy link that, like, I can only imagine it would be with Big Bad, bad Bosses. Probably, like, 2.8, if I had to guess. Okay, we got Trunks transforming here. Alright, let's check Vegeta's defense here. Here, his defense is at 91k, which means it would be at, like, 135, I think, after he supered. Which is pretty good with like also the debuffs and stuff and the support he's giving to Vegito Blue. All right, so we're getting in the Dogon mode. Really? Okay. He took basically double digits before he even supered, which is very impressive to me. I guess this Goku Black is debuffed by the Goku Black last rotation. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, 2.2 million, no support at all. Very good. If he crits and finishes it off, this is like a perfect Super Battle Road showcase. And even if he doesn't, this was still a really good, like, just run for this Vegeta in general. Crit? No, but he's stunned. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, we might not finish off this turn, especially if Vegito Blue doesn't get crit. But, I mean, I think this is going to be the end of the video, because even if we don't finish off this turn, we're just going to finish it off next turn. Um, this Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta is really, really good for Super Battle Road. If you want to take him into the Super Class stage, he's going to be great there. If you want to take him into the Realm of God stage, he's going to be decent there. Uh, giving support to all of the super class allies, but he's not going to be great just because he's not going to be debuffing the enemy because all the enemies in that stage are super class. Uh, but this stage, I mean, he just dominated it, especially considering, like, remember, the cell in the stage before this where you were only fighting one enemy, he's tech. So this Vegeta has type advantage over him. So it's just like, this Vegeta dominates the stage. Um, if you're having trouble beating this, I mean, like, this Vegeta is who you want to aim for. Like, either easy A him if you already have him, or, like, maybe save up some red coins for him, because he's only, like, 150 coins, and that's not too terribly much. Um, but at this point, I'm just rambling. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider to leave a like, a comment, subscribing to the channel. My name is Blahalru, and I'll see you guys next time.